Hi and welcome to DCO. My name is David Capetti and in this video I'll be sharing a technique that allows you to take a set of arrays and remove the first and last using list item. The reason why that's important is because usually when you have let's say an outer frame and you array a set of objects you will have the first and last that are overlapping and so with this list item method we can actually remove the first and last using a series of numbers creating them making sure that we exclude the first and last and then we're able to then take that geometry plug it into let's say another input that turns it into 3d geometry and then we won't have those overlaps that we would have otherwise so i'll be going over those steps here thank you very much for being here and let's jump right in for this exercise, I've already started with our base geometry, which is an arc here that we can change using the slider that is created off of the X Z plane. It is then offset. And then we join it together by getting the start and end points and creating a line segment that then is joined. And the reason why we have this is for the exercise. What I'm doing is I'm going to array one of these segments through here. And I'm going to remove the first and last item. And that's going to be important because we don't want overlapping geometry that it's probably going to cause issues down the road. So that's going to be the important part about this technique. And so let's go over the steps for um, doing that. What we'll do is we'll take one of these two line segments that we use to close it down. And what I want to see is which ones, which segment is created off of the start and end and the the first start point and the other start point right so now that we have this line segment we can create a curve array where we array this segment or this geometry through a specific curve so it could be either this one or this one i'll be using the original one as the input and now we can use a count which means that we can specify how many we want so we'll go to 15 and this will create 15 copies of that curve that are arrayed through this arc. Here is the thing that is important to note though, that if you have, let's say 32 segments that you've created, well, technically you have this one that overlaps with the original arc. And then you have this one that also overlaps with the original arc. So we would want to take this geometry and remove the start and end segments this way we don't have overlapping geometry and i'll show you why uh, here if i go to a pipe component and i plug in those curves into the input and then i copy it over and i plug these into the input well you'll see here that at the start i have one that's overlapping with the overall frame so let's go ahead and go over those steps let's delete this and let's get into playing, creating numbers to select data. So when we look at the output here, uh, we have under geometry, we have 32 line segments, which means that we actually want uh, 30 numbers, right? If we want to pick, let's say if this was zero and this was 31, then we want to start at one and end at 30 and this will let us uh, basically remove the start and the end and the way i do that is by going to list item list item lets us pick one of these lines so we'll take this geometry plug it into the list and we've basically picked at index zero this first one so we don't want to pick just that one we want to pick all of them so we'll go here to a series of numbers and these series of numbers we have the start step and count well for the count we'll plug 32 but we know we want to remove the start and end so we will actually do minus 2 a subtraction by 2 which will give us a component with b as 2 and since it's going to subtract from a we'll do 32 minus b and we'll put the count as 32 why? Well, it's going to create a series of numbers starting at 0 and ending at 29. 
what happens though is that it's starting at zero which means that it's going to select this one so let's plug this in you see how it's going to do the first two and not the last one well we need the start to be one we'll go here to one and now when we take a look we've created a series of numbers that is We'll take the geometry, goes into the list item, which is the item that we want to pick. And now we're going to pick from one to 30. And that is tied to the count of arrays that we have. And it's starting at one. So we're removing two items, the first and last. Now it can select this. And if we increase all the subdivisions, now we won't have the issue of where if we bring in a pipe component, It will only give us that issue if obviously it's too tight but this is the way to basically take a set of whatever geometries you have and remove the first and last to get rid of overlaps so this is a technique that i've used in some of my videos i did want to do the standalone video to go over some of these techniques that are super useful for many designs and many um, other things. So uh, hopefully you found that useful and thank you very much for being here. If you want to get a hold of the script that you saw in this video, check out my website, capettidavid.com. When you become a script vault member, you'll have access to the script and much more. I also have a workshop if you want to get started learning Grasshopper and a script store with ready to go scripts. Otherwise, make sure you hit the like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for future videos. And I hope to see you next time.